Good morning, students. So we were discussing chapter number four, agriculture. In this chapter, we have discussed many of the points till now, like farm system, types of farming. In types of farming, we have seen the subsistence farming and the commercial farming. Then we have seen the subtypes of the commercial farming and subsistence farming. and now we were discussing major crops in the major crops also we have discussed about rice wheat millets and maize now as well as cotton now we are going to uh, see further that is coffee in the beverage crop we are discussing coffee and tea coffee coffee requires warm and wet climate and wet drained loamy soil hill slopes are more suitable for growth of these crops brazil is the leading producer followed by colombia and india that means coffee is the beverage crop and it requires the well drained loamy soil hill slopes are more suitable for the growth of this crop that means these type of crop or the coffee crops are growing on the hilly slope brazil is the leading producer uh, of the world's countries means in the south america brazil is the leading producer of the coffee as well as Colombia and India these three countries are the leading producers of the coffee now some very important information is given over here about coffee that is the who discovered the coffee plant there are different versions about discovery of coffee in about AD 850 khaldi an arab goat herder who was puzzled by the queer antics of his flock tasted the berries of the evergreen bush on which the goats were feeding on experiencing a sense of exhilaration he proclaimed his discovery to the world here it is said that there are different stories about how the discovery of the coffee took place or how the discovery of the coffee was done and it is said almost about 850 ad there was a um, goat herder kaldi an arab goat herder and he was puzzled by queer antics of his flocks and uh, one day he tasted berries of evergreen bush on which the goats were feeding means whatever the goat goats were feeding on the plant on the same plant he also took one of the berry and tasted and when he felt an experience of sense of exhilaration and he proclaimed that at that time he discovered the coffee and in this way there are so many stories it is the only one story there are so many stories that how the coffee was discovered now the next beverage crop is tea tea is a beverage crop grown on plantations this requires cool climate and well drained distribution distributed high well distributed high rainfall throughout the year for the growth of its tender leaves it needs well drained loamy soil and gentle slopes labor in large number is required to pick the leaves kenya india china sri lanka produce the best quality tea in the world so tea is also a beverage crop and whatever the uh, uh, the crops are growing these crops are growing in the plantations and the climatic requirements of the tea are it requires the cool climate and well distributed high rainfall that means 
the distribution of the rainfall should be even as well as it should be high high rainfall is required for the growth of the tender leaves of the tea now we are going to see further that uh, what kind of soil it requires so it requires loamy soils it requires loamy soil and the soil should be of gentle slope means on the hills there should be the gentle slopes uh, labor um, it requires a large number of labors for picking of the leaves and the countries where these crops are growing are kenya india china sri lanka produces the best quality of the tea in the world and now we are going to see further all the important crops we have discussed till now all the major crops we have discussed now the next point is the agricultural development uh, in the same way as well, the agriculture the developments are there in all the sectors like industries as well as in um, uh, education and it sector in every field there is a development or we require the development in the same way there is a development in the agriculture also so let's try to understand that what are the different aspects of the agricultural development agricultural development refers to the efforts made to increase farm production in order to meet the growing demand of increasing population so here it is clear now that what is agricultural development so the agricultural development refers to the efforts made to uh, increase the farm production or increase the uh, production of the different crops in the farm and this is why this increase in the production is there to meet the growing demand of increasing population as you know that in the world the population is growing day by day so the demand of the food crop beverage crop and the fiber crop all these things are growing in high uh, in, in the high amount and therefore we need to develop the agriculture to meet the demand of this growing population and how it can be achieved it can be achieved by many ways now some of the ways are discussed over here like increasing the cropped area that means the agricultural area should be increased so that the farm production will increase in the same way number of crops grown uh, improving the irrigation facilities use of fertilizers and yielding variety of seeds that means use of fertilizer high yielding variety of seeds use of high high yielding variety of seeds uh, they, those are called as the hyv also as well as Im improving the irrigation facilities that means different kind of irrigation facilities should be improved in the farm for example the canal system should be increased as well as the drip irrigation the trickle irrigation this kind of facility should be available in the farm and then automatically we will be able to increase the farm production and in this way the agricultural development will take place now mechanization of agriculture is also an another aspect of agricultural development now what is mechanization actually mechanization means the use of different uh, machineries in the farm production or in the agriculture so that the farm production will increase is called as the uh, mechanization of agriculture <clears throat> and you know nowadays the farmers are using the tractors threshers and different kind of uh, agricultural equipments to increase the farm production and to that we can say that it is called as the mechanization of agriculture uh, mechanization of agriculture is uh, in this way the mechanization of agriculture is very important aspect the ultimate aim of the agriculture development is to increase food security you know very well that what is food security food security is the status of the agriculture where the agri um, in the agriculture the food will be available to each and every person so that all the student all the uh, all the people's requirement of the nutrition will be fulfilled to that 
is called as the food security and the ultimate aim of the agricultural development is to increase the food security so that each and every person will get the proper nutrition agriculture has developed at different places in different parts of the world that means agricultural development is not at the same speed everywhere in the world somewhere it is developed uh, somewhere it is in the developed situation somewhere it is in the developing situation and somewhere it is in the undeveloped situation in the world let us try to understand how developing countries with large population usually practice intensive agriculture where crops are grown on small holdings <clears throat> mostly for subsistence larger holdings are more suitable for commercial agriculture as in usa canada and australia with the help of two cases uh, two case studies of farms one from india and other from the usa latest understand about agriculture in the developing and developed countries so here it is said that larger holdings are more suitable for commercial agriculture as in usa that means the agricultural development in the uh, country like usa which is the developed country is different and the develop, uh, development of the agriculture in the country like india is different with the help of two case studies uh, we are going to see that how what or uh, how are what are the differences between the agricultural development of the two countries like in india and usa as you know very well india is not a developed country it is a developing country so the agricultural development of this country is also in the different phase and usa is a developed country so what will be the situation of the usa in the usa the agricultural development will be in the developed situation so let us try to understand the agricultural development of the uh, far, uh, of uh, in india as well as in usa we are in this points we are going to understand the differences between the um, agriculture the economic condition of the of the farmer as well as the land holding differences in india and um, usa as well as the technology that is used in the farm by the indian farmers as well as usa's farmers all these things we are going to understand in both these points a farm in india and a farm in usa with the help of these two points we will be able to understand what are the differences between the agricultural development of these two different countries which are developed and developing country so these two points we are going to understand in the next period till then thank you very much